Hey everyone. So guys, listen. In my last vlog, I talked about how I was having some hand and arm pain, which I'm okay. After I finished my orders, I like took a few days and I uh, didn't crochet at all. So we're chilling, but I want to get back into crocheting and I was thinking we should try out some of the ergonomic tips and tricks that the internet has bestowed upon us. So today we are going to be getting a tennis ball and we're gonna cut it, I guess, and, and put a hook on it and then crochet with it. <laughs> I have obviously seen this a lot. It's been on TikTok a lot. Multiple people have done it, right? I kind of always assumed that this would not be a good hack for me. I just, I feel like it's not gonna mesh with the way that I crochet because whenever I crochet, okay, whenever I'm crocheting, I like to have my finger on the yarn loop. And so I just, I constantly have a choke hold on my hook because I, I hold it very high. And that's also why I like buying shorter hooks because I have small hands and then if it's any longer then it sticks out like three inches and then it's just, there's too much weight back here which is also worse for your hands or whatever. But I just, I feel like if I have a big tennis ball on here then I'm not going to be able to keep my finger on my loop and then I'm going to like be holding a tennis ball so I'm gonna have to crochet without my finger on the loop and that's very hard for me I just I'm gonna have to change it up quite a bit so I also feel like having my finger on the loop is a big part of the reason why I can crochet so fast because I can move the hook very quickly and be confident that the yarn is not going to be falling off of the hook because I can feel it it's in my hand so Anyway, we're gonna try it out. I, I'm gonna stop. We're gonna try it. We're gonna see if it works. And what if what if it just solves all of my issues? Wouldn't that be crazy? Let's go. I'm also just gonna be like vlogging because why not? Come along. Walmart where we're making progress. You think you should use a basketball instead? No? It's only a dollar. That's like 34 cents for each bubble. What's the difference though? You just, you just got those. Don't even worry about it. Pressurized tennis balls? So are they gonna explode when I cut it open or? Guys, they're not gonna have the candy canes that I want, and it's gonna make me sad. Oh, I think a Starburst one would be good. Lifesaver watermelon. I want Warheads, but I couldn't find them last year, and I don't, I don't think they make them anymore. You want weapons of mass destruction? Yeah, these are not candy canes, but it, they have they have lots of Warhead stuff. No candy canes though. Should I get these? Yeah, it's only a dollar. Let's get these. So no candy canes, unfortunately. I'm not surprised though, because it is a running trend that everything I like gets discontinued, sadly. It's happened quite a few times. <laughs> My favorite Gatorade flavor, they don't make anymore. Valentine's Day sweet tart suckers, they don't make anymore. Candy canes, there's, there's many others, all right? Nobody likes me. So, we're back. I've acquired some tennis balls. I just got the Athletic Works tennis balls. There's three in here and it costs like $1.98 or something. Oh, interesting. Najee, I'm not gonna need three of these, you know. Oh my, sorry. <laughs> Okay, this needs to go somewhere. These smell like paint. 
Ready? Go. Nice. Good job, buddy. All right, while he's doing that, I wanna try this candy. It's got cherry and apple, so. Considering the fact that these are warheads, this is not sour at all, really. So that's a little disappointing. I will eat them, but not willingly. Moving on to the real reason we're here. We have to cut a, a hole in this tennis ball, All right? Okay, that's my ball, get your own. I'm going to try to use scissors, but I, I feel like that is not going to work. I probably need a knife. Yeah, okay, I probably need a knife. Oh, I'm gonna go get a knife. No! I got an old kitchen knife because uh, I don't want to use my new kitchen knife. Nudgy, you might have to leave, man. I'm gonna cut one of my fingers off. <laughs> you need to leave! I don't know how to do this. I don't have an X-Acto knife or anything. Maybe I should have like watched a video <laughs> of someone else doing this before I tried it, but um, I, I feel like there's a hole forming. Is this just solid rubber? Like, everyone that said this was easy, you're liars. Ow. Oh, no. Where did it? Is this my fault? Did I buy the wrong tennis ball? Ugh. What the heck? I don't think this is working very well. I'm gonna hurt myself. Tennis balls hollow. Yes. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Okay. I. Okay. All right. It's it's the the Tennessee. That was really hard to do. And now I have to do the other side. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to try make a hole directly on the opposite side so that the hook can go through it. Mm. 
this is hurting my wrists more than regular crocheting. It's probably a mixture of like, this is hard to do, but also my, my knife is probably not sharp enough. Man. <laughs> okay. Whew. Ugh. I've done it. Now I need to take a break for like two hours. Alrighty. So I got my my hook case here that has all of my hooks because I don't think that I'm gonna try to shove my beloved Clover Amore hook through there. So I'm just gonna use like a regular boy hook. But you know we'll be using that five millimeter. My baby. My beloved. All right, you ready? I don't know how far in I want it to be. Hmm? <sighs> that, that was really hard. Um, it's not, it's not like completely centered because I am not a perfect human, but it's pretty close. But you see, you see. It's not completely centered, but that's all right. Okay, so let's let's get to work and. Hmm? Hmm? I can feel your energy from two planets away. We're using a household classic, lily sugar and cream color. Jade Mist. Ugh. Well, okay, maybe, maybe, maybe this looks possible. I'm struggling. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why does this tennis ball look giant in my hand?
Okay, whenever I did the chains, I must have made them tight as shit because this is just not working. I am going to start over. First impression, I hate it, but I, I, I'm a hater. If I don't like something slightly, then I just, I'll give up on it. Uh, but don't worry, I'll keep trying for you guys. Subscribe. All right. I'm wondering like, should I try to move the tennis ball like closer so that I can do my little like, little grippy thing that I like to do or should I just, should I just move it down and have it centered? Jesus. Come on. Should I just have it like in the middle and then try to crochet? without doing that let me just try it like like how it's intended i guess i'll just hold the tennis ball and we'll see what we can do How do you have any control over what you're doing? I don't understand. I'm kind of holding the tennis ball like with my fingers. That's how I hold my crochet hook, but should I be like, should I be like full fisting it? Maybe. Maybe once we get past the first row, it'll get easier because the first row is the hardest. Okay, so the second row is easier. Quicker, for sure. Working into chains is always harder than working into regular stitches. Okay, so this is my fourth row and I'm I'm definitely getting more used to it for sure, but I'm still not having a good time. I'll just say that. 
Okay, so here's a little side-by-side -side of me crocheting with my regular hook and crocheting with the tennis ball. Uh, I didn't speed these up or anything like that. Obviously, the one where I'm using my regular hook is a bit faster because that's what I'm used to. But uh, I really just wanted to look at like kind of just the overall technique, how much my wrists are moving and working and my arms and stuff. But I mean, yeah, you can just, I, I just want to look at it basically. <laughs> Does it look the same? Similar? Close? So I'm thinking that in general, I am doing more with both of my arms than regular because I think that I'm overcompensating for the work with my left arm, but then also I am turning this arm more because whenever I'm crocheting regularly, I do rotate the hook. I go like this. But I could show you better like like this whenever I'm crocheting I do this type of thing I rotate the hook back and forth but I do it with my fingers right like this but whenever I'm holding this tennis ball to rotate the hook I have to move the entire tennis ball so then my whole forearm and wrist is going back and forth back and forth I feel like that is actually making me do more work and not benefiting me in any way. I also noticed that it's making my tension quite a bit tighter. I don't know if that's just because I'm trying something new and I'm not used to it yet, which is possible. But yeah, my right arm is doing more because I'm having to rotate this entire tennis ball back and forth while I'm working with my yarn and then my left arm is doing more because I have to manhandle my entire project. This is causing me a lot more work than how I would regularly crochet, I think. But also it might just be because I'm trying it for the first time. So I, I, I am gonna continue, okay? I was planning to try to make this entire top with the tennis ball. We'll see. And I'm definitely crocheting faster. I've, I'm already getting a bit used to it, but yep. I think I am going to try scooting the tennis ball up because so I can touch the tip of my hook with my finger. I feel like that gives me more control and that's what I'm used to and stuff. So I'm gonna try it. Let's see if it's okay. No, it, it doesn't work, it doesn't work, okay. That's, that's a no. We'll, we'll continue though, we'll continue with the regular. I think that this may be good for a person that has problems with like their fingers 
and maybe their like knuckles or something um possibly because like holding them your fingers like closed is painful for them but i i don't really have that problem i have most of my pain is in my my forearms like my muscles are sore and my kind of like my shoulders and stuff so i'm not going to say like this is a bad hack i think that this could definitely be beneficial to some people but i just i don't think it's i don't think that me and this tennis ball are vibing i just i don't i don't think we can be friends with this it's making me do a lot. I feel the need to go watch Made in the Moment. Uh, well, I guess it's Emma in the Moment's new YouTube video about the Wool and Folk Fiberfest drama. I gotta go watch it. It's an hour long. That means it's a juicy one. I have been working with this tennis ball for probably about an hour now and I I don't think it's getting any better really to be honest I finished the first cup and um, I'm making good progress on the second cup but I am definitely starting to feel I, I feel like I've got it down like I feel like I don't know if I'm going to get any better at crocheting with the tennis ball like I, I mean I would consider this generally fast paced you know like I keep dropping stitches but I think that's a tennis ball problem Okay, basically I'm trying to say that I would like to stop now if that's okay with all of you. I guess technically you don't get a say since you're not really here with me. <laughs> I know it's not supposed to be about speed, but speed is very important to me. As a business person, finishing stuff fast is very important. I know that like your health, the health of my hands and arms is also like very, very high on the importance list. But like I said, I don't think that this tennis ball is helping me physically in any way, really. I honestly don't think it's doing anything. I, I really think it's giving me more work, more movement in my arms. So, um, yeah, okay, I think we can just, I'm gonna, yeah. <sighs> I don't want this, this video to deter anyone from trying this hack. I think that if you want to try it, you totally should. 
tennis balls are super cheap like I like I said I got like three of them for under two dollars cutting it was a hard process as you saw but it's doable obviously it just will take a little bit of work like I said I think that if you have stiffness or pain in your fingers this might be a really good hack for you because it keeps your hand in a more open position rather than the more closed position that it is on a regular hook. So try it out in the comments. If you have ever tried this, please let me know how it went. I really, really want to hear from you guys. But I think that this hack does not work for me, unfortunately. I gave it a good try. Like I said, I, I crocheted for, for like an hour. I, I got used to it. I felt it out. This doesn't look like a lot and now I feel stupid. But I just, I really don't think that this is for me. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, thank you to the comments that suggested I try this and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you're not. And if you have any more ideas for me to try ergonomic ways of crocheting, I would love to try them out. So leave them in the comment section. I'll give it a look. And then you might see it in one of my new videos coming out. That's all I have to say for you for today. Bye.